Hey everybody, so today we're going to talk about remarketing ads uh, for when your campaign is about to go live. What remarketing and retargeting ads are is when you want to bring back in your old landing page visitors, your mailing list leads, your VIPs, and even your Kickstarter campaign page visitors back to the campaign page to see it again. Um, or for their first time if you know they were a lead or whatever, and uh, you want to let them know that the campaign's live, aside from, you know, emails and, and all that jazz. Uh, the first thing you need to do, though, is you need to properly set up your audiences. So if you bring your mouse all the way to left and go to the audiences dashboard, you next need to press uh, the blue create audience button. And uh, you need to create a custom audience. Select website as your source and press next. Okay, you should already have the website visitors audience created if you've been following these tutorials. And next, what you need to do is something special. You press this and press lead instead. So you're going to use the lead event as your custom audience. Set the retention time to 90 days. We'll call this uh, leads 90 days and then press create audience. I actually already have this one made, so I'm just going to press the X mark. And now, if you've been doing a VIP system for when your email leads were able to put down a dollar or whatever to reserve or put a deposit in towards your, your project um, before the campaign was live, uh, you press Create Audience again, Custom Audience, Website as a Source, and instead, under Events, you should see a purchase event if you've been tracking your purchases from the VIPs. Um, and then, you know, you'd select purchase and, and kind of do the same thing here. Retention 90 days, audience name, you know, purchases 90 days. Create that audience. Okay. Now, once you have all that done, go back to the campaigns. And inside the live campaign, um, for, you know, the, when your campaign's live, uh, I want you to now press the edit button on an ad set right here. And we're going to, in this ad set on the hierarchy, press the dot, dot, dot to quickly duplicate. Okay, that's going to save you some time here. Let's just call this uh, remarketing visitors. We'll call that ad set remarketing visitors. Uh, scroll down, conversion events purchase. That's all good. Okay, so let's talk about budget. So if you spend too much money, um, essentially, you know, uh, you're going to send them a whole lot of ads. You don't really want to send them more than three or four ads uh, within, you know, a short time period. Uh, it's, you know, going to spam them. Uh, but you don't want to send them only one ad because uh, you want them to make sure they see it and click it. Uh, these are really uh, important warmed up leads. Um, so uh, to calculate that number, first let's talk about how long this particular ad set is going to run. So we want to do uh, two windows here. One is at the beginning of the campaign, and then another window for remarketing at the end of the campaign. And these windows are going to last about two to three days so uh, I'm going to set an end date on this campaign for Sunday at uh, 7 a.m. Paris time, which would be like, uh, or let's do 6, no, 7, which would be, you know, midnight uh, New York time, because this is Paris time here. Um, and, uh, okay, so now that we have the start and end date set, we know it's about three days there. Uh, and now we talk about the budget, okay? And to calculate the budget, let's exit out of that real quick and go into our currently running campaign. And let's look at how many clicks we've got. Okay, so uh, to do that, change the columns here to be performance and clicks. And then we're gonna change the date range in the top right here to maximum. Okay, and so now we're gonna see that we had about 4,000 total link clicks here. Uh, and so uh, we want to spend a penny to 10 cents or so 
per link click over the course of those three days. Um, and so that would be um, 4,000 uh, times, let's say, two pennies, 80 bucks. So 100 bucks over the course of, you know, three days. So $30 a day. Okay. Um, so we're going to go back into this ad set, set it to about, uh, this is in pounds. So let's say 25 euros um start date end date is set now let's get into the audience so we're going to put down new audience select the custom audience <clears throat> of the website visitors then we're going to press exclude we're going to exclude our leads because we're going to we're going to do a separate remarketing campaign for visitors and a, and a separate campaign for leads okay and then uh, this is important, turn off advantage custom audience so that it doesn't try to go beyond uh, your, your retargeting. The locations, it should be United States. So we're gonna make sure that's United States. Or actually, um, I'm sorry, we're gonna do this as, I'm sorry, worldwide. Uh, okay because uh, we're, we're retargeting everybody who's visited the page. We want to make sure we get all of them. Uh, age range, everybody. Uh, detailed targeting, yep, okay. Let's uh, rename these properly. So this is gonna be uh, RV for remarketing visitors. RV. An RV. And, uh, you know, something I like to do is to make sure, let's just start out with the trailer on day one, and I can turn on those other ads later. So we're just going to be working with the trailer here to start. Um, and so now if we go into the uh, launch text stuff we can do. So we're gonna put in the description text. So these are people that have, they're warmed up to you. They've already seen you before. And so we wanna let them know that this is actually, this is not a repeat ad. This is going, this is the live campaign now. And so for the display link, let's do newest. Let them know once again. <clears throat> this is, uh, you know, it's now live. And we're going to also add now live into the headline. So now it says in the headline, now live Imperial Grace, right? Uh, is there anything else we want to do here? No, that's fine. Okay, and uh, just so this is ready for the other videos when I decide to turn them on. So I want the reason why I'm doing the trailer first is to make sure that, um, because we, we know they've seen the other ads already because that's what, how we're retargeting them, right? Um, and so the theory is they haven't seen the trailer yet. And so we're gonna make sure that they get new content. Um, and the trailer, of course, produces a seamless experience between the ad and when they click the ad and they get to the campaign page and they're presented with the trailer again, of course, and the actual campaign page material. Uh, so headline, let's put this back in onto here as well. Okay, so now Revark Marketing Visitors is set up. Let's duplicate this again. And we're gonna call this Remarketing Leads. Uh, the start and end date's the same. Now let's recalculate this budget once again. Oop. 
how many leads do we have um, in this list? And it's uh, five, six, six, seven hundred. Um, and so uh, seven hundred times your point zero five. $35, so basically like $10 a day. Let's set this budget down to $10 a day. And uh, let's take out this exclusion. And we're going to include website leads. So the custom audience is now just set to website leads. Make sure Advantage Custom Audience is turned off. Worldwide, age, gender, all not set. Okay, now let's uh, stay organized. Let's rename these ads real quick. Okay, and now there's one final remarketing audience that I wanna make. And this is, uh, going to be uh, to capture this is going to be a, a rolling remarketing and uh, so we're going to create one more audience actually I'm sorry go to the audience dashboard create an audience custom audience website as a source so this is going to be all website visitors, but we're going to do a really short retention time of like five days here. And so this is going to be functioning as a, a rolling remarketing that happens throughout the campaign. Uh, that, you know, so when somebody visits the campaign page um, in the last five days, they're going to get served new ads. Uh, and you can start like, you know, testing different ads and stuff in here. And this is essentially just to try to bring people back in, you know, if they, if they expressed interest, maybe they weren't able to buy at that moment, uh, or for whatever reason, um, it's a good audience to have hanging around, um, and, and keep it, you know, keep, uh, be being present. All right. So website visitors, uh, five days. Let's create that. Let me back check my work there. Um, visitors, last five days. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the campaigns dashboard. All right, go in here. Go press the edit button on remarketing visitors. And then on the remarketing visitors ad set, let's quickly duplicate that again. And this is going to be called Remarketing Visitors uh, Rolling. Just, uh... Okay, and uh, so this one we're going to want to spend a lot less money on. I usually spend only like five, ten bucks. I, I guess it depends upon um, how big your budget is that you're spending ads on in like your marketing campaign. Because it's dependent upon how many people are visiting your campaign page. It might only be like, you know, 500 to 1,000 people a day. Um, in which case, you know, we don't want to spam them with ads either. Uh, so this is kind of light. Um, but take out the end date. But we also want to start when the previous remarking campaign ends. Um, and so that's going to be like, uh, that was 7 a.m., Paris time, the end date instead will be three days before the remarketing uh, ends. Uh, I'm just going to do that manually, so don't, don't worry about the end date. Um, but basically, I would turn this off um, when you initiate the end of campaign remarketing, doing the same thing with the remarketing leads and the visitors, and you're going to blast them. Um, with new ads. So this, we're going to scroll down to audiences. We're going to take out that audience, excluding the leads. Uh, okay, so, and then we're going to plug in under customizes website visitors five days. Okay, 
Uncheck custom audience, advantage, advantage custom audience. Make sure that's unchecked. Uh, worldwide, blah, blah, blah. This is all good. Um, <clears throat> and then let's just rename this. Stay organized. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, now this is all set. Uh, I want to change this to uh, the display link to be trending. Oh, that was a mistake. All right, so let's fix this real quick. This display length's wrong. Okay. Now, uh, now, so I, I, the reason why I did that is because this is rolling, and so I want the newest uh, display link to say newest on these ones where it's just like, it just, the campaign just started, and on this rolling one, I'm going to say trending, right? Um, and then, uh, now live on Kickstarter, and is there, is so, uh, let's see what else, what else I can put here. So this is going to perform a little bit more like, uh, one of these. And so, um, Say exclusive Kickstarter rewards. Don't miss out. Ooh. On the description text. Um, and on the headline. Probably do something a little bit different here. Yes. Now live on Kickstarter. Well, if that would load. Oh no. Well, okay, so moving on. Um, and I guess actually, well, since this is struggling to load right now, this is actually, though, all you would really do. Um, I'm pretty much finished here. Uh, and you just, you, you would just publish these ads and you'd be good to go. Um, once again, you would do the same thing, like I mentioned, at the end of campaign, where you run the remarketing leads and the remarketing visitors. Uh, Add sets again and schedule it for the final three days of the campaign. And um, I'm trying refreshing the page, that's a little concerning there. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in either the, the uh, by email or in the Discord private club. You can find the, the links to those in the launch strategy planner and uh, i hope you have a wonderful day thanks for thanks for joining